The big question, Ann, is yeah. is it going to be nice tonight? A little hot out there. Yeah, it's going to be dry if you're in the metro area, but humidity, heat, you've got to prepare for that if you're going to be outside uh, for several hours here tonight, unfortunately. But at least we keep it dry. We've got a warm night overhead. We've got a few showers and uh, thunderstorms pushing into extreme northwest Iowa, but that's about it right now. Some lightning, some heavy rain there just to the south of Sioux Center, uh, but everywhere else dry, and that does include us here in the metro area. In fact, we've seen the sunshine really uh, from start to finish today, and we'll keep it quiet uh, through the overnight hours as well. Live look here out from West Des Moines. Temperatures in the upper 80s, pretty close to 90 today. Uh, we'll see what the actual high temperature comes through from the National Weather Service here in about an hour, but I think tomorrow most of us jump up into the low to mid 90s there by the afternoon. We've got dew points sitting in the low 60s, so uh, humidity fairly high for us here as we head into the 4th of July holiday. Temperatures right now, we're at 90 in Ankeny, 89 up in Ames, 88 towards uh, Carroll and Audubon and close to that 90 degree mark out in Perry. It's a hot one and a humid one for everyone, no matter your plans this evening. Uh, just keep that in mind if you will be outside uh, for an ex extended period of time. Shade will be your friend here this evening. Then once the sun sets, it'll take a while for those temperatures to drop off. Low 70s likely by midnight or so tonight. But again, if you're in the Des Moines metro area, I think the skies stay mostly clear tonight. It heats up a little bit more as we go into the day on Tuesday for the 4th of July holiday. We're talking temperatures here in central Iowa in the lower 90s. So here's what it looks like for your hour by hour forecast. We'll take you through tonight into the day tomorrow. Again, a few storms possible, especially across northwest Iowa and then in, into northern Iowa here tonight. But those will fizzle out fairly quickly here this evening. We head into tomorrow, 4th of July here. We start off with some sunshine. Uh, winds will be out of the south. We're still pumping in that warm and humid air. We've got a few showers that develop off to our west by midday, but it's really the second half of your Tuesday uh, that you want to pay attention to, especially if you're in northwest Iowa. That's the best chance to see storms, showers or thunderstorms as we head closer towards a sunset tomorrow evening. Our next cold front will come through tonight. That'll bring more showers and storms to our westernmost communities. And if those hold together, we could see a little bit of rain here in the metro area, likely closer towards midnight or so tomorrow evening. Clouds are lingering into Wednesday, and then we'll see another chance for some showers and storms heading into Wednesday afternoon. Tomorrow, though, there's a chance for uh, some stronger storms to develop. Hail and damaging winds would be the main concern. And again, best area for that will be northwest and northern Iowa here tomorrow evening. So if you have plans to do the fireworks tomorrow in Des Moines, it'll be another warm and muggy day. We're talking temperatures still hanging out right around 80 degrees there by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So a warm one this evening, mid to upper 60s across the state. Tomorrow's forecast will take us back into the low 90s, but again, heat indices a little bit higher than that, feeling a little bit hotter than actual air temperatures are. We'll drop back to 80 on Wednesday, even cooler on Thursday. The humidity drops as well for Thursday and Friday. Much more comfortable uh, end to the work week here for the eight day forecast, James.